the foreclosure moratorium for government-backed loans has ended. It doesn't mean that everyone who has a federally guaranteed loan and couldn't pay will immediately be kicked out of their houses. Even if foreclosure were to start tomorrow, California law requires that the process follow certain steps which take several months. If you haven't been able to make any loan payments up to now, you probably have been in contact with your lender who may have offered you several options. There's forbearance where your lender pauses your payments for a period of time after which you are expected to resume paying the regular monthly payment plus the balance of what you weren't able to pay. You might have been approached about giving up the deed in lieu of foreclosure, meaning you will sign over the deed to your house in exchange for being released from the loan. If your house has lost a lot of value from the time you bought it, that could make sense. Another option is for a loan modification where your lender will modify the terms of your loan. Any unpaid balance and the remaining principal of your loan will be reworked will be reworked into basically what will be a new loan. With interest rates so low right now, it's possible you could get better terms than your original loan. In the worst case scenario, if none of these could be worked out and your lender starts the foreclosure process, here's what will happen. You will be served a notice of default that will also be recorded with the county recorder. The notice of default will have your name, the property address, and the amount of default, which is the unpaid loan payments, plus late fees and other fees. Once the notice of default is recorded, it becomes public knowledge. From the day the notice of default is served, you have 90 days to cure the default, meaning pay the amount of default. If 90 days pass and you aren't able to cure the default, the lender can then sell the property by auction 20 days after serving you a notice of sale. The notice of sale states the property address, the minimum bid amount, the date, time, and address of where the auction will be held. This notice has to be posted on the property, recorded with a county recorder, as well as published in a local newspaper once a week up to the date of the sale. If you are able to come up with the money to pay the amount of default, you have up to five days before the auction date to pay it and cancel the auction and foreclosure. But if it's less than five days before the auction, you can still cancel it but you'll have to pay the minimum bid amount, which is not only the amount of default, but also the remaining loan balance and other fees, late charges, etc. On the sale date, your property will be auctioned to the highest bidder, either outside a courthouse or by online auction. Once the auction is over, the foreclosure process is completed, and this will appear on your credit report for seven years. If no one bids on the property at the auction, the lender gets it back and it becomes an REO, real estate owned. After the auction, either the new property owner or your lender will contact you about getting you to move out so they could get possession of the house. If you refuse to move out, the new owner or your lender could take steps to evict you. If you're not able to cure the default, selling your house before it gets to the sale date will probably be the best option, especially if your house is worth more than the minimum bid amount. By selling your house, you will be able to cash out the equity in your house and keep foreclosure off your credit report. Your credit will be salvaged and with cash in hand from the sale of your house, you'll have more options than if you allow the house to be foreclosed on. From the time the notice of default is recorded all the way through the sale date, you will get lots of phone calls, emails, letters, postcards, etc. from investors and real estate agents with offers to either buy your property or help you sell it. An investor should be able to pay you cash and close very quickly, but they won't pay you market value. But if you sell on the open market instead, in this seller's market, you should still be able to get your property sold quickly and get at least market value, if not more. If you do decide to sell, make the decision quickly to give yourself enough time to get your house sold and closed before the auction date. This is Dale Shin. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay tuned for my next video.